Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to perform all these operations like insert, update, delete, list and details on table employee. As we have seen all these operations on table department, let us see all these operations on table employee. The table employee is here and don't worry I am not going to write all this code. I wanted to show you a shortcut way that is provided by your Visual Studio 2012. We also call it as scaffolding. I'll just right click on controller and I'll say add a controller and name of the controller say employee. This time scaffolding option earlier we selected empty MVC controller but this time I'm going to select MVC controller with read write actions and view using entity framework and data context class is nothing but your organization db entities and model class for this is nothing but tbl employee and i'll say add and see the magic that is if you observe it has added employee controller with index action and the code written for that details action and the code written for that also handling some exceptions create code is written for that create which makes a post the code is available for that edit edit which makes post delete and delete which makes post finally disposing all the objects like db your entity object and even all the views are ready like create view delete view details view edit view and index view so that's it i need not to do anything I simply say that use the template and I pass entity object and the model name and the complete master details screen is ready for me and I'll build this now before we go for execution we need to make few changes that is nothing but in employee index list I need to say the primary key that is the parameter that I'm passing here I say that it should be item dot employee ID I'll copy this paste it here as well as here and save this even in details we need the same thing that is nothing but id id equals to model dot employee id So that's it these are the two places where you need to make changes that is you need to enable primary key for that particular table primary key is employee id so we have set employee id in index as well as in details execute this so here i get the list of employees if i want i can create a new employee just by clicking on create new I get a beautiful form with all departments in the drop-down list I can go back I can go for editing an existing record I get all the things I can go for details back to the list I can delete a particular record 
I'll say back to the list. So we saw all these things in our earlier videos and we implemented that manually. But all these things can be achieved with the help of your templates or you can say scaffolding. But in your real time projects, these are not at all encouraged. For this grid, I would like to apply a style. So I have a style with me. I'll just right click, say add new folder, I'll name it as CS, and I want to add an existing item. That is nothing but my style sheet that I have ready with me. I'll say add. I get my style sheet and class name is table sorter. I'll copy this. And I'll try to apply that class name to this table. Class is equals to table sorter, and I'll simply drag and drop the style sheet. Save all. Same thing I'll apply for my department table as well. I'll simply drag and drop the style sheet. and the table i'll say class is equals to table sort and i'll execute this i should have a beautiful grid so here i get a beautiful grid same grid i can get it for employee as well so here i have the same grid the beauty about scaffolding is that whenever i say create new you can observe that for department id it has resolved that the id is foreign key from department table so it has listed department names so that's it for this video thank you very much